Hey everyone, today we are going to go over my top five favorite plants for drought tolerant gardening in Texas. First up is the lantana. Now these things you are going to see absolutely everywhere in Texas because they do really, really, really well down here. Um, I have two different varieties myself. This one is called the confetti lantana and it's because the um, flowers are going to be yellow and pink. And so you'll get that variation all throughout the plant. And uh, the flowers are super cute and they bloom in those little pods like that. Um, it's super drought resistant. You just have to water it in really well and water it until it's established and you'll get this big beautiful bush like season after season. Uh, they do best in full bright sun so they can really take the Texas heat. This is the other kind of lantana I have, which is called a Dallas red lantana. And I always wanted one and I finally got one and he's pretty new, that's why he's so small but he's just got these beautiful, beautiful, rich red and orange flowers and he's so pretty. And there's all kinds of different color flowers too. There's like new gold, which is all yellow. Um, there's purple, white. Um, there's lots of variations of that pink and yellow one. Uh, so it really can fit into like any landscape and any kind of pop of color you want, you can get it with lantanas. So definitely recommend these for any Texas garden. Also a staple is any kind, well, just about any kind of sage or salvia. Um, these also do great in full uh, Texas heat, full sun. Um, this is a mealy blue sage. I have three of them and two of them are this big. And then I have one brand new this season. So he's kind of small. Um, they are super awesome for bees. They absolutely love them. And you can see the bees flying around back there. There's probably a good five of them just flying around um, and pollinating the flowers while I was filming. Uh, but sage is super, super pretty. Uh, for the most part, it's really uh, deer resistant. They don't like the smell of it, which is cool because we have a ton of deer in our neighborhood and um, it's really hands off. Another super drought tolerant, hardy plant. Um, again, just water well until established when they're small because they do need to get through the heat. But other than that, they're really hands off as long as they get that full sun. Another staple is going to be really any kind of cactus, so long as it's not too finicky. This right here is a bunny ear cactus. Um, I've had him for over a year now and he's gone really nuts this season. He was a lot smaller than this when we first got him. And all of those little like tips grow more tips. That's a barrel cactus right there. He's very small and slow growing. Uh, both of them full sun, of course, and really minimal water as any cactus, you know, can tell you. Uh, one of my other favorite cactuses, cacti, excuse me, is this one. And this is my old man cactus. That's what it's called. Uh, it's cause it's kind of like shaggy and has like white quote unquote hair. I've had this guy since we moved down to Austin, which was in 2014, I think. Um, he's gone through a ton of moves with us and he's broken in a jillion different places and I've dried him out and replanted him a dozen times. So he's all over our yard. Um, I've got this one in the ground right here and then this offshoot of him in a, a planter right here on the deck. And they're doing good. Again, full sun, minimal water, um, just like any cactus really. But I'm just super proud of this guy. <laughs> And then for my final plants, um, this one right here is Turk's Cap. Now this one is super, super awesome. You can see the flowers, they're just coming in right now, kind of small, um, but the flowers get a little bit bigger than this and you can see they have like a little bit of twirl to them. They're kind of interesting. And they come in, mine is pink, um, common color is red, and I think they also come in white. But what's really cool about Turk's Cap is it grows anywhere so you can put it in full sun to full shade which is so cool and it's a really hardy little plant uh, i've got mine in full shade and i've had it for over a year now this is kind of just a bonus plant and this is like my mexican honeysuckle kind of the same as the turk's cap it does good in the shade um, it's a good hardy texas plant um, and honeysuckle of course always smells so sweet and hummingbirds love it 
but that's not actually my fifth plant. <laughs> my fifth plant is this guy, which is not flowering, which is a shame, but this is a shrimp plant. And these are super cool, also do good in the shade. Um, I've got two of them, that big boy and this little one right here who's newer. But they get these really cool flowers, you have to look them up, and they literally look like shrimp. They're really interesting, but they're super, super hardy and durable, like Turk's Cap, really great shade plants. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.